Hey everyone, I'm Pine and welcome to Tardy. What is Tardy, you ask? I like to call it a space adventure about fiddling with computers. It released a few days ago and this is what it looks like. So this is an adventure game, um, but it's not a classical point and click. It's more like a constant flow of puzzles mixed with the storyline. And uh, in order to demonstrate to demonstrate to the gameplay, I will just continue my current playthrough and show you a few puzzles. That obviously means that there will be spoilers, story-wise and puzzle-wise, um, but it's basically unavoidable when demonstrating this game game. So let's just get right into it. We are on a, on a planet right now um, and we just uh, fixed the light in this building uh, with the help of this, well, <laughs> with this doggy over here, which we can uh, control a little bit. Like we have a, he has like a chip, which we, uh, it's, it's a little weird. We have a remote control for the dog, <laughs> but let's not worry about that for now. Uh, let's just click on things. So you can only click on things that have these exclamation marks. Um, usually, sometimes they pop up when you get closer to them, but usually you see all of them. And that's an exception usually. So let's just um, figure out what those things are. I just fiddle around with those and that unlock these. Um, so we got a few pictures here. Seems like this might be part of a dog picture. Uh, the inventory management in this game um, is interesting because you find things lying around in on other things, like in this case on this terminal, but sometimes in a box, sometimes in so like in a, in a chest that you have unlocked for some things like that. And you can just drag them out here. And if I if I leave the screen now, it it's still on my screen. I can put it back onto another thing, like if I put it here or on another uh, piece of well environmental whatever uh, it will stay there and be removed from my from my screen which is my inventory also if you leave the screen you usually lose this item so um, there's not much like multi-screen puzzles or anything at least not so far so far everything was like in one screen but it worked pretty well so this seems to be some some computer terminal and there's an AI which I can uh, who I can ask um, who it is I'm bot number CG3705, empowered as the spaceport commander, while the commander Grog Tyron is on the um, fourth vacation. <laughs> fourth vacation. Yeah, so, so a little bit to the backstory, maybe. So we un uh, accidentally got on a ship and uh, in, a, in a cryo chamber, and when we woke up, everyone on the ship was dead. Well, we thought so. Then th there was one person alive, which we found later. Uh, and now we have to repair the ship, and in order to do so, we got to this planet here, where we hope to find some some spare parts. Uh, this planet is, uh, well, destroyed basically as well, though. So, um, yeah, it's a kind of post-apocalyptic setting here. And the only living thing we found so far is this dog. So, um, let's see what, what happened here. Um, can you remember about the battle? Why did you lose? Why did the Empire do nothing? So we can talk a little bit about backstory, that's not too important here. Um, I think we skipped the screen for the moment. Um, not too interesting for you because you, you're lacking backstory, obviously. Hello, dear customer. You're the first living object I've seen for a long time. Would you like a vet bar? Sure. Whatever that is. Who are you? How come you don't know me? I'm Winky, hero of the gal galaxy. All the galaxies, actually. I'm, it's me driving the fighter ship from Space Raiders. So this is apparently an, an ad, uh, an interactive ad, I guess. It's trying to sell me some merchandise. I also like history and vet bars. I strongly advise you to have one. What are the vet bars you're constantly talking about? The best food for travelers and heroes. Do you want it? Beat my character record and I'll give you one. Oh yeah, arcades. There are multiple arcades in this game. That's the third one, I, I think. And uh, beating them will usually give you some part of a puzzle. <laughs> so that's um, interesting. Trust me, it's worth it. Even dogs like vet. Do you know that scientists have proved dogs are more gummies than humans? I don't like such an awful product placement. <laughs> oh, he actually... Oh, it's a hologram. Awesome. Can we talk to him again? Okay, that's the same. Wait, can we skip that? It's repeating the same text. That's annoying. Okay, let's let's go to the to the arcade. On the God of Games have regarded me with this favor. Uh, with this favor. So that's the other character. That she's still trapped on the ship. We couldn't unlock her door yet. Um, she's one of the survivors of the original crew. I hope the rest will follow. Uh, why do you hate video games so much? I don't. I love them. But now it's not time for games, obviously. Really? I don't believe you. What's your favorite game? Sheep and Shredder 4. <laughs> Whatever that is. Shut up. Why? That's my favorite game. <laughs> oh, God. How many hours have you played? About 300. Amateur. <laughs> Seems I shouldn't stay in the conversation. Uh, I like the writing so far very much, actually. The story... Uh, it's a little confusing so far, a lot of mysteries and stuff going on, um, might be cleared up later. Um, but the writing is very enjoyable, there's a lot of, there's well, there's some dialogue and there's a lot of diaries and things like that. So we found a book here and the third piece of this picture. There, there's some note there which we will require for something. Let's open this. Uh, entry number one, Colonel Rust always wrote something. I will write too. 
Oh, this guy is not good at spelling. Ha! <laughs> I wonder who that is. There's nothing to do here anywhere. Uh, everyone died. It's just me, R Riley. Rune chips and books. I have some food too and weapons. I don't need weapons though because the enemies left. I don't know why they didn't see me and Riley. Maybe we lucky. It's a pity day, so I guess Riley's a dog. I would assume. And we too, I didn't write for a while. I wasn't in the mood, perhaps. We ran out of food and I read almost all the books. There's nothing to do here. I don't want to think what I'd see outside. If you wrote, uh, if you read so many books, why is his writing still so terrible? Is there any of this? Actually, it might have got a little better. It, I think it, I think it did got better. I think that's some, oh, that's, that's a nice little detail. There's still a mistake here, but at least he's spelling writing correctly now. So I think he got better because he wrote book, uh, read books. That's, that's a nice detail. Is there any of the city left? Will I see mom's and dad's bodies? I can be the last alive person uh, on this planet. I search every nook and cranny of the city trying to find someone, but there's no even corpse left. The confederacy tins look at them all, uh, took them all. I was terrified. That, by the way, I, that's one of the big, terrible or big bad things in this game. The, um, the, the, the font is really hard to read. I hate the font so much. I'm okay with most of the art style. I'm not a big fan of it, but that's obviously personal preference. It's a well done art style, but I, I just don't like it too much. Uh, but the font is horrible in those notes. Uh, I was terrified when I realized that I'm alone in the whole city. What should I do? How am I going to live here? At night, I think that I'll be glad to meet even a zombie, but there's no zombie, no one. Wind whistling is the only thing I heat at, uh, hear at night. With each passing day, it becomes harder and harder to survive. All the food left is either rotten or dog food. Uh, there is a large pet store near the spaceport. I can't feed all the dogs in the universe. Riley's happy, and so am I. <laughs> he deserves it. Okay, there's a lot of uh, text here. Let's skip this. Uh, okay, doesn't seem like there's any important clue here. So let's just ignore this book for the moment. So let's play some Blaze Force, shall we? Um, what do you play that? You Press buttons. Oh, single player. Error. Okay, so I guess we have to play multiplayer then. Is it? Is it? Can we control the keyboard? Yeah. Okay, we can. Sometimes, or at least for the con for the arcades. Um, oops. The the keyboard is unlocked. Um, for some computers it is not though, which is a little annoying. Oh, wrong buttons. Whoa! Okay, controlling two spaceships at the same time is hard. Uh, this game is way more advanced than the others I played so far though. God. Oh no. This is confusing. <laughs> so I, I play this obviously with W, A, S, D and uh, arrow keys at the same time. I hope I just have to survive. Um, still have a lot of ships left, so it should be good. Don't see any score or anything, so I guess we just have to survive. That's my hope anyway. So as I said, usually these arcades give you some sort of clue that you need to uh, solve another puzzle. It looked like it should have given me a power up, but it didn't. Oh no, it's an enemy. Okay. Oh god, um, that's bad. Bad news. Okay, we survived. Oh yeah, I can fly forward and backward as well. This stuff. Not much about puzzles here. I guess this was not a perfect spot to jump into the game in order to demonstrate it to you. I think we just do this move and ignore these. They take way too many hits. Um, but I mean, this is part of the game as well. So lots of reading, playing some card games, stuff like that. I mean, I just solved the main puzzle in this room, so. Could Ooh, boss fight. Oop. Okay. Might be a good strategy to just keep both ships on top of each other and control them simultaneously. Also, there seems to be a bug in the game. Uh, when the ship dies, it still deals damage. Ah, I won. Awesome. Dog is coming over here. Yes, I'm the strongest, fastest, and the most arrogant person in the universe. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the, the arcade game gave me dog food. And now the dog is happy. Where is the fourth? Okay, I unlocked more things as well. So let's go back over here again. Dog is eating. Great. Unfortunately, there's no run button. It would be nice to like run with a double click or something. That would be useful. Oh, this guy again. Congratulations, you've won. Now you can get your vet. It's a pity you've beaten my record, though. 
so I guess that's the vet bars he was talking about, but it's not the worst defeat I've seen. Are you interested in history? Yes, I can tell you about the Empire, the Confederacy, or the Despair. Despair? This planet is called Despair. Oh, right. It's famous for a rare mineral that is mined here and unique giant tree, Stuku. Despair is not part of the Empire or the Confederacy or any other organization, but it's still powerful and rich world that can stand up for itself. Winky, I think your information is a bit outdated. The Empire is the greatest state entity in our galaxy and includes more than 300 of inhabited planets. Hey, enough of it. No more history, please. It is governed by the Council, which includes representatives of greatest systems. Seems he'll never shut up. Completely lost his mind. Despite its name, the Emperor is more a uh, representational position than real monarch. Eventually, some semblance of democracy appeared in the Empire. They even have freedom of speech. Many people believe, though, that the Empire elite is secretly supporting the Vermin Confederacy. Yes, tell me about Confederacy, just what I was missing. Really? All right then. Hey, that was sarcasm. I've been joking. No, please. The Vermin Confederacy is a radical organization. It's situated in the south part of the galaxy. Screw you. A rolling junk pile. It's a totalitarian state and they openly war against independent planets hiding behind fighting terrorism, terrorists or pirates. I'd never guess. Usually they accuse a planned government of hiding dangerous galactic criminals. Then the Vermin states a peacekeeping mission. Typically the mission ends when all the planet population terrorists or no are eliminated. Surprisingly, all the planets that hide terrorists are located in a neutral area and, uh, and rich of resources. This is one of those plans, by the way, if you didn't guess so far. I can't believe you finished the speech. Vet bar is the best thing for... Oh, shut up! <laughs> uh, well, great. So that was the back part. There is the last piece of the puzzle. puzzle. Goddamn, there's a password. Look around, maybe there's a clue somewhere. Well, I, I guess I found it already. Pass... Will probably be Doc or Riley. Let's try Doc first. Nope, that's Riley. Oops, uh... Is there a backspace button? There is, but it's, I can't use it. Okay, let's try that again. No, it's not right. Oh, okay, that's bad. Was Riley... How was Riley spelled? Riley with an E, okay. I hope I don't get stuck here. At some point in the video. Oh, uh, I see why. There. There we go. You're right. Wow, you're, good. you're the god of passwords, or how do you call yourself? Um, thanks. Okay, close. Uh, leave your screen and we will probably lose these pieces now. Yeah, there we go. From what I hear, you're in the hunger. Another sad but beautiful place. So many memories. Have you been here? What? No, it just reminds me of my childhood. Did you travel a lot? No, but I dreamed of spaceships. Sneaked into a hangar to indulge in fantasies about space adventures for a while. Yes, how do you know? I did it too. Oh well. Why did you become a doctor then? Sorry, but it's personal. Okay. Okay, so let's hope we get some nice puzzles here. So what is this thing? Um, damn, all the entries left belong one day. What? All the entries left belong to one day. Well, maybe it's the day we need. Maybe. All right, let's try. If I'm not mistaken, it should enter hours and minutes here. Uh, okay, so we can enter something and press search. And we probably need the correct time to find something useful. So let's... Look around. Ha, a familiar one. It might take a long time, though. Uh, to open a few compartments, you should insert special keys and enter codes into two terminals simultaneously. First, you should check the third one in the middle, and I have a bad feeling about it. Uh, when I was a child, I hated all these. All the keys here, that's good news. From what I see, you know what to do. I guess I'll leave you to it. Okay, so... Yeah, we need we need keys, apparently. Yeah, I think. Okay, let's take a look at the others. Oh, it seems it's still working. I've never really hoped for it, but it seems somebody has repaired the ship. At least the fuel call, so calls look promising. Shouldn't that be fuel cells? Did I misread that? I don't know. I thought you're not so good with technology. When I was a little boy, when I still had a father, I often watched him repairing his old Valorian B95. It looked just like this one. I need to do something with these switches to open the fuel cell compartment. Um, that's all. Well, if you know what to do, do it. Okay. There, there we go. Turn off the security system. There's a number here. Turn off power. Can we, we can press that button. Okay. Turn off power. Open the battery panels. So. There are arrows here. So I guess we have to do this first. Set the correct number. It's not like we can enter something here. Mm, a little confused about this one. Let's take a look here. This seems like to be the same thing as this one, though. Oh no! What? 
This one looks really bad. Can you fix it? I can't try to. So I need three more keys. Where can they be? How do you think? No idea. You think I can find them listening to sounds going through my headphones? Fine, maybe the dog will help. Are you going to persuade him to show you the cash? The cash, you're right. What are you talking about? Do you think the dog hit the parts? Will you ask him? Yes. No, I mean, I doubt he can speak, but there should be a video surveillance system in here for what I know. If the dog hit the parts, I know it. All I have to do is discover when he did it. I suppose it'll take a lot of time. Well, good luck. Okay, so something is missing here. I'm not quite sure how this puzzle works, but I guess we have to find the correct time to put it into the surveillance thing on the left. Um, so let's skim through this. Um, no, 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 and then, no, 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 it should, there's something, I remember he was playing in the hunger at around 30, 47, 13, 47, um, let's just try that, or let's look if there's a different time somewhere, because I might be a red herring, 30, 47, 13, 47, Okay, let's try that. See if that helps us. Mm, that looks like it worked. Aha! So let's take a look at the doggo. Aha! Over there. So sad. What? The war. So many people did just die just because of someone's self-indulgence. And that boy, someone he managed to survive, he lived and studied uh, here all alone. And what for? He didn't see anything, do nothing. He never loved and died the verge of new life. This dead world and a loyal dog. He had no more. At least he had this. Some people live their lives in vain, even in peacetime. Uh, peace like me, I didn't mean it, but it's a good example. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see what the dog actually did hit here. Well, the keys for this thing, I think. And if we unlock this, we probably can unlock the thing in the middle. Ah. Uh, okay, that's a key. We put that here? Oh, yeah, apparently. There we go. Okay, but how... Does this allow us to disable the security thingy already? Nope. Mm, not quite sure what I'm supposed to do here, actually. I'm a little lost. Should probably read through those notes. Not sure if that's helping. No, it doesn't seem like it would help, to be honest. Okay, um, I'm a little lost. I feared that would happen. <laughs> so I'm not sure what to do now. Um, let's look around a little more. I'm not, there are obviously numbers here which we can enter, but what is the code? And how do I figure it out? So I can't take this key. So I assume I need... Like the, the keys on the in the left one is the, the, the all three keys are present. Here's only one key, but I guess I only need the first key to at least unlock the security system. Can we take them out? Nope. Can obviously enter some random buttons. Oh, they're not in order. I just realized. Two five nine four seven. Wait, there. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Okay. I'm a dummy. I just figured out. Eight one nine seven two zero. Oh. Okay, so that should be doable. 819720. 819720. 819720. 819720. Let's see if we can actually figure out the numbers, though. 20. We can't. Huh. That might be a seven. That might be an O oh, or that one. Well, or that one or that one. None of them look like it could be a two. Oh, this one. Uh, 
I wonder if it's just mirrored or something. Maybe we can take a look here. Mm. Yeah, I think this one is the, the same one. It seems to be mirrored. So uh, upper right, center and bottom. Maybe it's completely mirrored though. So maybe this is the zero. So one of the upper ones in the corners, the middle one and the bottom one. Well, I tried one of those combinations already, so let's try the other one. Ah, didn't work. Unfortunate. Did I put in the right numbers? 819. Maybe not into this one. Let's put in 819 into all of them. Might be this one actually. I just assumed it would be the first one, but uh, that doesn't work. Nope, neither. Or do we have to put the whole key in both? Maybe. It's not quite obvious how these work. Uh, getting 819 in there would, will be a pain. All right, let's take a look here again. I would like to get his instructions again. Um, okay, top row and one of the lower ones. This one, I guess. Oh, this one is green. Okay, so we got to got it correct on the left side. So uh, we have to put in the correct numbers on the right side now. Um, I mean, let's try this one. There aren't too many combinations. It's just a long walk between those two consoles, which is a little annoying. Nope, not correct. Uh, can we figure that out? There, maybe it's not mirrored. Maybe it's a there's like a pattern or something. Six four two four eight six. There seems to be some sort of pattern at the very least. Well, maybe it's random though. I'm not sure. So it's apparently not this one because I tried that in both directions. How can I figure this out? This is kind of hard. Or I'm missing something obvious again, which is more likely, <laughs> to be frank. Um, so, but it's the one with the, like, I definitely located a two on this. If this is just dead pixels and it looks like there's a few dead pixels, then this is definitely the one with the two in the bottom part. But that would, that means that I either need those or those. And I think I tried both combinations already. So, yeah, no, no luck. Can I put the key in the others? Nope. The others seem pretty broken. So, that's definitely zero. None of them look like a one. Maybe they're just completely screwed and it's hard to f 
determine but then how am I supposed to figure this out is there maybe is there a note here somewhere is there another clue in the notes don't think so doesn't look like it something over here I missed no just a show hmm <laughs> So I assume I have to figure out those numbers based on the other terminal, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, this is the only one that can be a 2. Right? Let's take a look at how the 1 looks. I realize this is straying on a little bit right now, but that's part of a game. Like this is what you experience if you play this game. So kind of makes sense. Like at least if you're as stupid as I am. So the one is a straight line and then one pixel to the left at the top. And the seven is more to the right and then a long line. So let's try to figure out where those are. I don't think you can actually figure it out this way. None of them none of them can be the seven. Well if there are additional pixels then this one can be the seven, I guess. Um, and none of them can be the one, except for this one with a lot of additional pixels. Okay, how am I supposed to figure this out? Brute forcing helped me once. <laughs> but brute forcing four numbers here, I don't I only have to brute force the ones I don't press, obviously. Uh, will be quite annoying. I mean yeah, that's, that's a lot of combinations, especially because I have to walk back and forth quite a bit. I think I'm missing a cue somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I mean, we can just try to replicate one of the others. Maybe it's the left one. Maybe we just rep assume it's, it's the same pattern as the left one. That would be... Um, okay can replicate that one but it looks mirrored and stuff like that so I, I don't actually think that god damn it my brain just was it like that I think it was it looks like it's mirrored so I would be surprised if that actually would work that it that okay fine <laughs> and there's another key What's there? Nothing interesting. I mean, useful. A space division poster. A space division on the wall. Is their song, isn't it? Stupid title. The song was kick-ass. Cool, though. Damn, I miss music so much. It seems last time I listened to her was ages ago. What music do you like? Sp spice beavers were <laughs> magic. Took the words right out of my mouth. It seems like they have a lot of co uh, a lot in common. I saw theirs last show. But how? The tickets cost a fortune. Do I look like someone who needs tickets? Definitely not. You know I would have done uh, the same thing. Okay, so we have a poster. And we have a key. And uh, we go over here, put the key in. And then we have to figure out the next code. I'm probably not going to do that, but... Because I want to wrap up the video. Oh, the, the, the robot moves. The robot is moving. And this thing popped up, so... Bother it, bother it, screw you, filthy tin can, this metal shit is still working. What's happened, what are you talking about? Battlebot is still working, I mean, what left of one? You're lucky, if it was un uh, unarmed, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I feel a lot about this one, they say it can smash a hull of the ship with its ugly palm, but not to mention a squad of soldiers. Oh, that's just rumors, these bots are nothing more than cheap junk. Quantity, not quality. Stan once told me one of them broke down during the thunderstorm, I don't know if it was thunder or water. Maybe they were designed by the dude who created Wall. Wall is the ship we were, uh, we were like she's trapped on, and that ship is really weird because it's designed with puzzles, and they talk about that in universe. So <laughs> it's kind of interesting. It would explain a lot. Unfortunately, no. If it was so, I doubt the conference would get to the planet. So yeah, the, the ship you start the game on is is based, built around puzzles basically. <laughs> on there is a camera in there. Are you going to become a photographer? What? No. Uh, why then you're so happy? It can be useful, really. I don't know. You see? <laughs> okay, I assume we can do something with the camera. 
There was like a scanner early on, which I could hold over other things. There are a lot of like, the, the items are actually interactive a lot, it, which is kind of cute. Oh, we can take, ooh, I flashed a robot. Okay, <laughs> cool. I just, just unlocked the next number. Okay, we're not gonna do that now, um, but that's how it goes. So the items are a lot, a lot of the times, or a bunch of the items are interactive, like a scanner that you can hold over other things to see hidden details, or there was like, like a punch card, um, which, which it wasn't a punch card, but it was actually like a, the, the captain t used it to, to, um, to store a password basically. So he had a, a whole page of numbers and you could hold it over it to, to figure out the code and stuff like that. So there are a lot of cool puzzles. Nothing, nothing was really like, there's an, Ah, uh, let's put it that way. The puzzles are not really like complex logic puzzles or anything like that. It's more like figuring out what to put where and what to use how. And sometimes to read through a bunch of notes and figure out uh, clues and stuff like that. And it, it works really well. I, and the story and the writing has a lot of charm for me. I, I really enjoy my time with it. I get stuck from time to time, obviously. Um, but it's it's kind of cool. Um, it's, if you, like, it's... It's not your classic, uh, not your your regular point and click where you collect all the items and then try everything with everything, um, because usually, as I said earlier, or as you could see here, everything is on one screen. All the puzzles that are connected to each other are on one screen, and you usually know what to do next. Which also means if you get stuck, you're stuck, which is a little annoying. Um, but um, yeah, that's the downside of it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, and, and as I said, it's not about inventory management. It's about well, finding clues and putting them together and using machines. The the, the downsides, as I mentioned earlier, are the, the font and the notes are is terrible. We probably can see it in this book as well. Yeah, the font is just not easy to read, in my opinion. Um, the move speed is very slow, which was extremely annoying in this puzzle. Well, very well demonstrated, I guess. And um, yeah, I don't. I personally don't like the art style, but I like the story. So far, I like the puzzles, it's quite enjoyable. The universe seems interesting as well. There's a bunch of backstory which you get, well, which you experience in a quite natural way, I guess. Um, so that works pretty well. Let's take a look at the options menu, which is um, a, a bit clumsy to use. It has most of the things in it, but you have to click everything. It's a little annoying. So you have to go to change resolution here to change the resolution, which I only can do like this. <laughs> a little annoying instead of a combo box, which I can select something. Then I have to go back to switch between full screen. This is not like way too many clicks here. You see what I mean? Way too many clicks. Like there's different menu sub points for music volume and sound effects volume. Then and another one for full screen and window. Why can I not just change this here? That would be way easier. And then there's an extra menu for VC. <laughs> this is just not well designed in my opinion. I might be on purpose, but uh, it, it's not fun to use. So um, yeah, so much for that. But overall, I quite enjoy the game. Um, as I said, it's called Tardy. It released a few days ago. I will put the link in the description below if you're interested in it. Um, it's it's a pretty cool space adventure. That sums it up very well, I think. I'm TH Pine. Thanks all for watching. Have fun and see you next time.